Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to another video. Now, as you guys can see, today we are taking a mini break from all my Bora Bora vlogs. I promise you, we're gonna have some more. Also, I know I'm pretty late this year for the game, but it's honestly because of the fact that we're not really going anywhere and we are home. But let me just say, last year when I saw Kendall Jenner wearing this costume, I knew right away that this is what I'm going to be next year and I said okay this is going to be my costume I'm going to make it it's gonna be stunning like oh my god and little did I know we're gonna have corona we won't be able to go anywhere and we're just gonna be home but anyways I decided to make it super last minute so with that said I do want to give a major shout out to my friend Corey because without her I wouldn't be able to finish it on time because once again I was in Bora Bora for two weeks and uh, yeah so major shout out to her and now without further ado guys let's just move into the video so to start off I'm gonna show you guys what I'm using for this project so as you can see I actually got a Tinkerbell costume off of Amazon if you have any other dress that has a similar shape you can use that and so from here you're gonna be needing a whole lot of feathers as you can see I actually got a trim from a very specific resin which I'll explain later but pretty much you need a whole lot of feathers from literally any kind that you want. Also, you're going to need E6000 glue and you're actually going to be needing three tubes. I'm not even kidding you guys. Now, moving on, basically, as you guys can see, the dress had some crystal trims on it in the chest area. And I knew I wasn't going to be using that. And so because of that, I actually started to remove that because, again, everything will be covered in feathers. So anything that, you know, stands between you and the feathers, you guys, just get rid of that. Now, this next step is actually really important because as you guys all saw, the dress is actually green and you want your base to be the same color as the feathers because it's super important just in case you have some, you know, gaps and holes. So obviously I took some spray paint and I painted the whole entire dress in gold. So once the dress was ready to go, all I did was take in the trim and I kind of tried to cut the trim in the same shape of the skirt, but also as you guys can see, it will actually make your life a whole lot easier because let me just tell you, if you're going to be needing to take each and every feather by itself and glue it, this can take up to a month. I'm not even kidding because as you can see right here, without the help of my friend Corey, this will not even be finished on time. So as I mentioned, major shout out to her once again. She did a corset part and as you can see, the feathers already painted in gold because this is how I purchased that from Amazon. So once we reached to the top area of the corset, what she did basically, she took the feather as you can see and she kind of cut it into two pieces to make sure that those are actually a smaller pieces because in the top area, I mean, if it will be just like a full length of a feather, you guys will not be able to wear it you won't be able to breathe in it it's just gonna be really hard so trust me this is a really crucial step now from here this is the next day and as you can see it looked something beautiful like that I decided to take a few more feathers just like literally one by one to make sure that the dress actually look a whole lot fluffier and it has like a whole lot of feathers because again this is what Kendall had and it actually looks stunning Now moving into the headpiece you guys and yes this is a quacker box i mean sometimes you do have to be creative if you want to do your thing also for the record yes this is a parchment paper on the box because first of all i can sketch on that and it will actually make my life a whole lot easier whenever is it that i'm using a hot glue gun just like i'm doing here now besides of the fact that it will be super easy to sketch on the parchment paper let me just say that whenever is it that i will be removing the headpiece from that it's just gonna be a whole lot easier. I saw people doing these like literally everywhere from carton box to, you know, plastics, whatever. And this is just gonna be a whole lot easier. So just so you guys know.
So once the headpiece was ready to go, I took some more spray paint and I painted the whole entire thing gold. Now, as you can see, obviously it's still unfinished, but I took some flowers that I got at the Dollar Tree because I needed some plastic things for the headpiece. Now, as you can see, I took some leaves and this is what I built like the structure of it, I would say. And then again, I painted that gold. And of course, I had to finish up with some elastic band just to connect the two parts together so I can make sure the headpiece will actually stays on me. And of course, to finish everything off, once again, I'm taking some more spray paint just to paint everything gold and to make sure that everything is matchy match. So that is the final look, you guys. Honestly, I am so obsessed with this dress and I swear I wish Corona would not be thriving at this point and we could all go party or do something for Halloween because to be quite honest, even though it is super stunning, probably next year I won't be wearing it or this is gonna be, you know, like literally the only one time that I'm getting to wear this dress and it's just because of the reality that next year probably, you know, we're gonna have something you know, more interesting or any of that. I don't really know. But anyways, you guys, this is literally for your entertainment. And I swear this is literally for an Instagram post and a YouTube video. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And if you didn't, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below here. And I will see you guys on my next one. And I hope you guys are gonna have a very safe Halloween. And I love you all and I'll see you on my next video.